Heinz Tomato Ketchup. Can you imagine a world without it? Well, as a new book on the world's FMCG giants reveals, it was a very close-run thing. Henry Heinz's original Pittsburgh Pickles and Condiments outfit specialized not just in pickles, but in financial disappearing acts. But Henry persevered, first in the States and then, very remarkably, in London, where he persuaded the world-famous Fortnum & Mason to give him shelf space. It was a turning point, lubricated by a kind of mayonnaise. The acquisition of a British pickle manufacturer that led to the 1914 launch of Heinz Salad Cream. The transatlantic links were well and truly forged. By 1924, Heinz had a massive 150,000 acres of crops, 25 branch factories and employed almost 1,500 salesmen. And then the company lost its grip. By 1950, in a changing market, savvy consumers were demanding more, and Heinz couldn't supply. More sophisticated retailers were moving in, seemingly for the kill. It wasn't until 1966 that Heinz turned the corner. But how? What did they do throughout those 16 long years? What products made lost souls into the industry's dominant supplier? Acquisitions? Product development? Marketing? Sheer desperation? Today, the company that truly has tomatoes in its DNA has a global turnover of over $11 billion. So whatever Heinz did in the doldrum years worked. And whatever they did is also revealed in FMCG, the power of fast-moving consumer goods. The brand new blow-by-blow -blow account of the giants of the world's massive FMCG industry. FMCG, the power of fast-moving consumer goods by Greg Thane and John Bradley. A comprehensive history of the world's top FMCGs. A must-buy for anyone in or studying the trillion-dollar world of FMCG. Available now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, Abe Books and other leading online bookstores.